Hi, my name is Karen Oakley from Oakley Strong Personal Training Studio right here in Lewiston. So I have a studio in my home that I have clients come to see me and I have all ages and all uh, athletic abilities. With me today, I'm gonna do a senior program with my client, Mary Mott. And there's Mary. Good morning. And we're gonna do a program so maybe you can do these exercises on your own and progress a bit at home if you feel more comfortable being in your own home at this time. Uh, so, shall we get started? All right, Mary, let's stand right here, okay? All right, let's start with our feet comfortably apart, okay? And let's start with some nice shoulder rolls just to get yourself nice and warmed up, ready to go. That's great. Let's go the other direction, up and over. Perfect, perfect. Now let's do a rotation. A nice, easy rotation. You can move your feet if you want. Again, just to get the body in motion, because we know what happens if we don't keep the body in motion, it stays out of motion, and that's not a good thing. So we're gonna work hard to warm up. All right, good job. Now, a little twist and turn. This is great for your shoulders. So if you've got some achiness in the shoulders, this is gonna rotate and really feel good for the shoulders. Let's do three more. One, two, and three. Good, now we're gonna do some squats. Now squats might be very challenging for some people if they've got knee issues, and a lot do. So Mary, we don't have to take these deep, right? We can take them very small, or Mary's got them down into a nice deep position but you can take them as very nice and deep, or you can regress it, and just a small movement. Arms are in front, just to equal balance yourself. And while we squat, we're gonna keep those heels pushed into the floor, chest lifted. Good, Mary, let's do five more. Five, good. Four, nice. Three, good. Two, one more, and one. Good, let's do some kicks. Kick it out. Kick it up, just kind of release it and get those feet moving. Nice. All right. Now, one thing that we do work on for Mary's class, as I do with several of my clients, is balance. We lose our balance as we age, and it's so important, and it's trainable. You can train yourself to better your balance. Mary has great balance. So, Mary, let's start with those feet apart. Okay, I'm going to be here in case you need me. Let's rise up on your toes and hold it and come down. Rise up on your toes and hold it, and come down. And rise up and hold it, and down. And she's doing this completely on her own. She has full balance. Now with a wider stance, it's a little bit easier. Now if you at home want to progress this, make it more challenging, put your feet right together, Mary. Now this would be a progression. Rise up and down. So you've got a yes. Good, rise up. So that would be another progression to do. Okay, now if you need to hold on to something, now granted, I'm here for Mary, but you can do this right at your kitchen counter. Hold on with your fingertips, or if you need more, hold on more. But absolutely, get some place where you have something to hold on to in case you do tend to lose your balance. Last one, Mary. Well done, well done. Great job, great job. All right, now let's move on to another large muscle group. Let's move on to our back. So would you pick up your dumbbells right there on the floor? So Mary's gonna work with a set of dumbbells, okay? And if you have some dumbbells at home, that would be great to use. You know, if you're gonna hold them right down the front, you're gonna bend your knees, Mary, and you're gonna drop your chest forward, and you're rowing. That's it, row and down. Now this exercise is working Mary's back. So she's really working her back, a little bit of her biceps, but we have to keep that upper back nice and strong. Very important exercise to do. Eight, good, good. Finish these up, Mary, got seven more. Now, if you don't have dumbbells, there's nothing wrong with holding a can of soup in each hand or a water bottle in each hand, or you can do this without any weight, just the body movement only works fine. Two more, Mary, please. How about one more? So those are rows working that upper back and biceps. Very nice job. Take, you can keep those right in your hand there, okay? Good. All right, let's do some curls, okay? So you're gonna curl right up to your shoulders and down. Good, now your feet are a little bit apart from each other and your knees are gonna be slightly bent. Again, if you don't get a set of dumbbells, a water bottle in each hand or a can of soup or something in each hand, work fine. 
Again, the movement alone is huge. So even if you do the movement without anything in your hands, is good. Good, Mary. Take it up. Now, when you're doing these bicep curls, it's really important, as Mary knows, to keep her elbows tucked into her body so her shoulders are flaring out and she's got a nice curl going. That's good, Mary. How about two more, Mary? Good. And one. So when you know you've done enough, if you find that your breath is really getting a little bit hard to breathe, then that's definitely a sign to slow down, stop, maybe even to sit. Now, Mary, I'd like you to have a drink of water because we do have water breaks, which are very important to have to hydrate yourself. And as I tell Mary, rule of thumb is if you can drink at least two or three good sips of water during your workouts is really, if you could do more, that would be great. Next, we're gonna work with the ball and we're gonna work all sorts of different exercises. So grab one at the dollar store and you'll be good to go. Mary, take that right between your thighs here. Okay, so Mary's gonna squeeze that ball and release the ball. Squeeze it and release it. Now this is working her inner thighs and working her hips. So she's squeezing and releasing. Squeeze, do you feel that, Mary? I sure do. Yeah! Squeeze, release, squeeze, one more, squeeze, awesome. Now you can take that ball, Mary, squeeze it with your fingers, let's work your fingers. Because a lot of us get arthritic in our fingers, so this is a great exercise to do if you've got something to hold on to. Give it a good squeeze, relax the shoulders, Mary. Just relax your arms, relax, yep, squeeze. Squeeze, working all those fingers. Squeeze. Four, three, two, and one. Behind your back, Mary, and then grab with the other hand. This is really for your shoulders and change hands. Bring it right up, keep bringing it right around, changing hands. You have that real good stretch behind you, letting those shoulders really stretch. Good, one more, Mary. Good, now let's go the other direction. Behind, good, so it's really working on those shoulders. Nice, three more, three, good, two, and one. Good, now I'm gonna put this underneath one of your feet. So step on that gently with one foot. Okay, now what we're gonna do here, Mary, is you're going to rotate this in small circles. So can you make a circle with that ball? Now this is working Mary's hips. Our hips get so tight as we age. So working this really loosens up your hips. And you might find if you sit for any length of time, you get up, your hips feel really tight. So this is a great exercise to do with that. Mary, go the opposite direction. Do you feel that in your hip, Mary? Sure do. All right, doing good. Doing good. And notice Mary's got some nice posture too. We always sit with really good posture. Your posture is nice and tall. Let's change feet, Mary. All right, now we're gonna work that other hip. Choose any direction you wanna go first. A full circle, doesn't have to be a large circle, and your posture is good. You can do this sitting in a chair. It can, you can be on carpet. It wouldn't matter to the ball on the floor. Go the other direction. Just wherever you're comfortable. Anywhere you're comfortable. Good, four, three, two, and one, good. Next, I'm gonna put the ball on Mary's quadricep, her thigh. She's gonna put her elbow right on top of that ball. Okay, now what she's gonna do is she's gonna push that with her elbow and come up. And she's gonna mentally think about using her core muscles as she presses. So this is definitely gonna work her core and a little bit of her bicep at the same time. Good, you feel that, Mary? Yes. Good. Okay. Now I'm gonna keep her on this leg. But now I'm gonna ask Mary to do one more and then just change elbows, but not change legs. One more, Mary. Now put the other elbow on, this elbow comes off, and you push. Now she's gonna hit more of the outside of the core, which are called the obliques, as she presses down into that ball, hitting her core. Core is very important to keep strong. It is your center of everything. So core exercises are something you really wanna incorporate in your routine at home. Let's try the other side, Mary. Okay, let's do that side first. Okay. Yep. So front on, so this is working straight on, hitting those core muscles. Good. Nice. Good job. Good. Three more. Three, two. Good, now change elbows, but don't change legs. Yes. Now you're reaching across. Now let's say 
you run, don't have the flexibility to cross that elbow over. And some people don't have that flexibility. And if you don't, go back to the other one, Mary, other elbow, you can just stay here. You don't have to switch elbows because that cross can really be a stretch for some people that have minimal flexibility. So don't think that you can't just do this exercise this way. All right, Mary, good job. So that's our ball. Good. Next, we're going to use a stability ball. And if you don't have one, you can just sit in your chair and do what everything with Mary is going to do, seated. But this automatically makes Mary work her core muscles harder because she has to balance on the ball. Mary, have a seat. Okay, so you're going to sit right back in the center. Okay, and her feet in a wider stance keeps her more grounded. If she was in a narrow stance, she'd really have to work her balance. So Mary, we're going to do some balancing exercises for balancing core. You're going to alternate knees coming up and dropping down like marches. Okay? Okay? Let's take it up and down. And she can hold the ball with her hands for that extra security by all means. And if, I know a lot of people like to work out with a friend. A friend can also help with assistance and hold you in this position. Again, you can do this seated in a chair, which is definitely going to work you hard as well. So if you have an ability to grab a ball, they're very inexpensive. And you can pick one up. Good. Four, three, do your two more, Mary. Now this is, where you just keep going here. I'm gonna talk about balance while you're continuing. So while you're on this ball, you have to sit up straight. If you don't sit up straight, you can't balance properly. So it really encourages good posture, which we all need to work on and balance, which we all tend to lose as we age. So, so important how so many seniors fall just because of balance issues. People think that, you know, if you've had bad balance that you just can't ever get better at it. You can absolutely train it and get better at it. So Mary has been working and she's doing really good with that. Now let's do some upper body movements, okay? Sure. So she's gonna be just seated in a chair or a ball if you have one. Both arms are gonna go directly out to the side and come down, directly out in front of you, and come down directly to the side and come down directly in front now while she's doing this i want her to think about resistance okay i want her to think that it's really hard to pull your arms up that she's working against her own body to push herself up now granted i can be her resistance because i work with her as a trainer but if she was doing this on her own she can pretend that i'm pushing on her and she's working against me that's going to work you a little bit harder and while you do this, again on the ball, posture, shoulders relaxed and down, and your focus. So one of the most important things about balance is your focus. And we're going to talk about that in, in the next exercise segment. Good. One more to the side, Mary. And one more out in front of you. And that's with our stability ball or seated. Good work with that part, Mary. Great. All right, let's stand up. Continuing on with our balance workout, I'm gonna ask Mary to do some simple walking, and the most important thing is that her eyes are focusing on a certain pinpoint right in front of her, eye level. So Mary, why don't you take that walk straight forward. You can hold your arms out to the side if your balance isn't good. But Mary's balance is good. She can even progress and take her arms all the way down to her side and just walk that straight forward. And she's focusing on that one focal point. Good. Okay, now we're going to progress it, and we're going to add a knee lift, Mary. Okay. So, but first you've got to look at a focal point. What focal point are you picking? Picture on the wall. All right, there's a picture of my two little birds on the wall. So you're going to focus on that picture as you do your knees. So knee up, and if you're having trouble with this balance, you can easily alternate knees, Mary, right knee, now left knee, just like you're marching. Right, arms to the side will help her balance. Focusing on her focal point is absolutely crucial. That's good. That's good. Nice and nice. Now, if you want to work with and progress, if you're really good with your bales, I'll demonstrate a progression. These are tandem walks. So you're going to put one foot, notice I'm, I've got my focal point, one foot in front of the other. You can hold your arms up if you can. If you can butt heel to toe, that's ideal. But if you cannot butt heel to toe, you can give yourself a little bit more space. But the closer your feet are together, and then you can really take it up a notch and take it backwards. Again, I'm not losing my focal point. You can keep your arms out to the side or they can be down to your side, depending upon your balance challenges. So that's our balance segment. What's very important to do is to cool yourself down after you've done a workout. 
So Mary and I together are gonna to do a few little things to do just to cool yourself down. Let's take some nice deep breaths, Mary. Deep breaths, both arms up. I'll let you do the arms. And down. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. One more time, deep breath. In the nose, out of the mouth like you're blowing out a candle. One more, in the nose, blow it out like a candle. Awesome, let's roll those shoulders back. Nice and easy. Good, now let's try a nice stretch. Can you take both arms behind your back? Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift the chest. Awesome, great stretch. Great stretch for your shoulders. Awesome, beautiful, and relax. Let's hamstring. One foot's in front, one leg is straight. If you have to bend it a little bit, it's okay. Get both hands around the bent knee. You're gonna lift your body straight up, lean it forward, just at your comfort level. Of course, the more you lean, the deeper that stretches on that straight leg. One thing I would encourage is to keep your head always above your heart. I don't want you to get lightheaded by dropping your chin too much. That's a great stretch on one side, Mary. Let's do the other side. Sure. All right, take that heel out. Again, both hands on that. Make sure you're not going to put hands on your kneecap because you don't want to put any pressure on a joint. A slight lean forward. Mary, do you feel that stretch in your hamstring? Yes, I do. She does. Yes. Again, her chin, yes. my chin is up. Nice stretch. Good. Good. Now, next we're going to do some hip flexor work, which is really an important muscle to stretch. I've got Mary sitting on my bench. If you've got a chair or a sofa or your bed, you can easily do this by sitting side saddle. This leg is behind her, this is the hip flexor. This muscle actually wraps around and can cause some back pain, believe it or not. This is a great stretch to do, and of course you would do both sides. And her shoulders are back, which makes her feel it even more. Do you feel that, Mary? Yes, I do. Here's <laughs> okay. Let's do the other side, Mary. Can you turn around and go to the other end? Okay, good. All right, that foot is nice behind you. Good, shoulders are back. And then again, there's that hip flexor that again can get so tight. And what really tightens hip flexors is if you're seated for any length of time. So if you do a lot of things seated, this is really a good stretch for you to do. Mary, that's awesome. Good. And that's it. <laughs> Before I came here, I was not an exercise aficionado at all. In fact, I despised it probably. But uh, after hearing Karen and seeing her um, knowledge and enthusiasm, I couldn't help but really enjoy the workouts. That's great. Do you notice a difference? Oh, most definitely I notice a difference, yes. Uh -huh. And I actually leave each week or each day too smiling. So that's, that's good. Since COVID hit, I, my personal training studio is now in my home. And with that being so, I work with clients Mary, even older, my oldest client is 87 years old. She'll be 88 next month. And my youngest client is 16. So all fitness levels, all ages, I've got all sorts of equipment here that can work with anybody to get themselves fit, strong, healthier, and happier.